everyone welcome back to the channel so today I want to talk to you about a productivity system I recently implemented so if you've been following me on Twitter you will have seen I possibly I may have seen a tweet I put out last week about how I started reading David Allen's getting things done because I've sort of got to that point with lockdown where I'm like do you know what I've got so much to do and there's all, all this time I could be using to get all this stuff done and it's hard to stay motivated, isn't it? So I kind of, last week, I kind of just got to the point where I was like, right, I'm going to start doing something about this. And there's um, a guy I watch on YouTube, he's actually a uh, doctor in Cambridge, but he's also does a lot of uh, courses and content on studying and productivity. And his name is Ali Abdal. Now, I watched a video of a live stream he did with... Um, someone else who does courses called Kehi. I'll put a link to that video in the description. But what I did one evening last week was sit and watch this video. And what I did was implement a productivity system in a program called Notion. If you've not heard of Notion before, it is a sort of workspace productivity app for your for Mac and Windows. You can also get an app, iOS and I believe Android app as well. And it's kind of a note taking, to do and Wikipedia or wiki type thing all in one go. So I downloaded Notion, which you can get a subscription to Notion Pro or Notion Premium or something, but I've just got the free version, so it's completely free. And so I just sat and implemented this system. And so what I want to do today is just go through that system, show you what I did, um, some of the tweaks that I made for it personally. As I said, I'm not gonna sit and tell you how to do it. The video link will be in the description, and so you can just click that if you want to follow along. But I just want to show you kind of a brief overview of how cool it is and that maybe it'll just inspire you to do similar. So let's get started. So here we are in Notion and the page I've got open is of course my productivity system. So in here we've just got three headers which actually link to other pages and we'll start off with tasks. So on tasks I've just got a list of tasks that need doing they've got you know I've made them sort of more interesting with icons then you've got this idea of related projects which we'll look at shortly done a due date if any of them are things that I want to get done within a certain time then we've got this idea of context so in getting things done context is this idea of a place a person or a thing so that might be you know home or work a spouse family partner you know friends Really, you know, even items, and so in my case here, you've got things like laptop, uh, MacBook, and phone. Then the next one that we put in, which technically isn't part of getting things done, but as you'll see from the video that I followed, it's quite a useful one. And that's this idea of high energy and low energy. So this is just, you know, something that you can do. Say it's a you know, task that requires a lot of energy. Maybe you've got some free time, and you think, oh, I'm just going to have a look at what things I need to do. None of them are prioritised particularly, so you just think, I can just pick up whichever I want. I'm feeling quite, you know, energetic, and so I can go, oh, okay, I'll pick up a high-energy one. Or maybe you, you're you feeling quite tired, and you maybe only want to sit down on maybe on the sofa with a cup of, cup of coffee or something and work through it. So that's context. Then you can set duration if you want, and then there's this additional flag column, which is anything that's high priority. So that's tasks. So as I said, there's also projects. So if we go back to the main page, we have projects. So this, of course, is a project name. Again, you can add icons to them if you like. I've you can also add any more any more that you want. It does link tasks because the projects and tasks databases are called a notion linked together, but don't worry too much about this. This review frequency column and then the following columns are actually quite clever and interesting. So review frequency in this case is is the number in days of how often I want to review something. So there's stuff that I maybe want to review every day, every few days, every week. And in the case of something like my bucket list, maybe every month, maybe even longer than that. Then last review date is just the last time that I actually looked at that project. And you'll see how that comes in useful later. Next review date then uses a formula, hence this symbol here. And that's just saying, OK, based on the last review date and the review frequency and days I gave, when's the next time I need to look at this? Then this column here, of course, is just today's date and time. And the reason that is there is because that's then fed into this overdue column. So that if the next review date is before today, it means it's overdue. And all this then ties very nicely into this productivity dashboard. 
So this is kind of the hub where you get an overview, or in this case, of course, dashboard, which shows everything that's, that's going on and you can add and remove sections as you wish. This task inbox is uh, where you can come in and you can pop in anything that you want to do. So it might be that you're sat on the bus or public transport or, you know, whatever, or sat at home and you can't just, you know, you, you don't have the time to sit and fa uh, faff around with Notion particularly, but you maybe just want to jump in on your phone into the task inbox, just quickly add something that you want to do. And then you can choose to fill in as many or as few columns as you like. In the case of this task inbox, it only appears here if it's not related to something. So I deliberately left this one here just so you can see what it looks like. But if we assign it to a project, which in this case will be the project, I suppose, will be productivity. Then you'll see, boom, it's disappeared. Then this is a section that I added after the video, which is intent of the day. So it's just the idea of each day you maybe want a daily highlight or a goal, whichever way you want to look at it, which isn't a specific task. It's more what's the general idea that you want to achieve. So today I want to work, carry on working on this video I'm making. So that's you know today's goal and here we are recording the video. Then as you saw before in the projects, if any project has a review date before today, then that means it's overdue and it will appear here as needs of you. So you might want to sit down every morning or evening or whenever you like during the day, have a look at, through these projects that need review and think, OK, what things need changing or, you know, am I on top of this? Is there anything I need to do? Then you can, you know, update the last review date and it will disappear from this list. Flagged for today is anything that has a previous due date or, you know, today or before today. So this one here, I deliberately left out so it would appear. So I have done this one since the 10th, but I just left it in there. It's, you know, it's due before today. But again, if you added anything that was due today, it would also appear here. Upcoming task is slightly more medium term. That is anything that's scheduled to happen within the next week. So my bins get collected every Monday morning. So on a Sunday at 7 p.m., I have a reminder to take the bins out. So this will happen today once I've done it. This will then change to next Sunday and it will always stay here. But if you've got any tasks that aren't, you know, repetitive like this, but they are due within the next week, they will appear here. Then at the bottom is just this one called my bucket list, which is just a few tasks that I thought of as things that I want to achieve, you know, in my lifetime. Everyone knows about bucket lists. These don't have a due date, of course, because you never know when it's going to happen. So there you have it. That is the start of my productivity system in Notion following the tu video tutorial from a live stream on YouTube from Ali Abdal and Kay He. As I mentioned earlier, the link to the video will be in the description if you want to follow along. If you like this video, click like and subscribe so I know that you want me to create similar content in future. If you've got any comments or you want an update on any changes I make to this, then drop a comment below. And if you want to reach me on Twitter, then my social media handle is below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.